Welcome to Simplified Learning and today we are going to compare four modes of transport that is road, rail, water and air and we will be comparing these modes of transport on the basis of various parameters such as accessibility, ease of use, economy, load haul per unit fuel, environmental impact, speed, infrastructure required, flexibility, suitable for bulk cargo, suitable for passenger transport, accessibility in remote areas. So let's move on to the first point, accessibility. In case of road transport, it is highly accessible as it covers almost every corner of the world. Roads are widespread, making it easy to reach in even remote areas. Then rail transport. It is moderately accessible as it is limited to regions with the railway networks. It may not reach as many remote areas as road transport. Then water transport. It is limited to areas with navigable water bodies like rivers, lakes, seas and oceans, which makes it less accessible, especially in landlocked regions. Then in case of air transport, it has limited accessibility because it is restricted to regions with airports and airports are mainly located in urban areas. Now let's talk about ease of use. In case of road transport, it is relatively easy to use for both passengers and cargo. It provides flexibility and direct access to the destination. Then in case of rail transport, it is moderate in ease as it involves specific schedules and infrastructure. It is suitable for bulk cargo but may not be as convenient for passenger travel. And in case of water transport, it is easy to use for cargo, especially for long distance, but may involve transshipment for inland locations. Passenger water transport is common in many places. In case of air transport, it is complex and involves rigorous security and scheduling. It's primarily used for long distance, high speed travel. Let's talk about economy. In case of road transport, it can be relatively economical for short distances, but it becomes less cost effective for long hauls due to fuel cost and maintenance. Now, in case of rail transport, it is generally cost effective for moving bulk goods over long distances due to low fuel consumption and high capacity. Now, when we are talking about water transport, it is cost effective for moving large volumes of cargo over long distances as it requires less fuel per unit cargo because weight of the ship is taken care of by buoyancy of the water. In case of air transport, it is relatively expensive, primarily suited for high value or time sensitive cargo or passenger travel. Now let's talk about load hauled per unit fuel. Now road transport has a lower efficiency in terms of load hauled per unit of fuel burn compared to other modes. When we are talking about rail transport, it is highly efficient with a high load to fuel ratio, making it an environmentally friendly option for the bulk cargo transport. When we are talking about water transport, it is also highly efficient as large vessels, large ships can carry substantial cargo with minimal fuel consumption. When we are talking about air transport, it has highest load to fuel ratio among all modes, making it efficient for long distance and time sensitive cargo and passenger. Let's talk about environmental impact. Road transport has a moderate environmental impact due to emissions from vehicles. Talking about rail transport, it has low environmental impact as it is energy efficient and emits few pollutants. Water transport has low environmental impact due to efficiency of large vessels and the use of cleaner fuel and air transport has high environmental impact due to high fuel consumption and emissions. Now let's talk about speed of transport. Road transport offers high speed making it suitable for relatively short distance travels and rail transport provides moderate speed, ideal for medium to long distances. Water transport has a lower speed suitable for making long haul transportations and Air transport is a very high speed transportation mode, making it ideal for long distances and time critical levels. Infrastructure For road transport, it requires road network. In case of rail transport, it requires railways and terminals. In case of water transport, it requires ports, docks and navigable waterways. And when we are talking about air transport, it requires airports and air traffic control infrastructure that is ATC. Let's talk about flexibility. In road transport, highly flexible road 
are there allowing multiple stops and route changes when rail transport is there it has limited flexibility due to fixed rail networks in case of water transport it has limited flexibility especially for ocean routes it is more flexible on river and lakes in case of air transport high flexibility is there for long distance travel but limited in case of landing options and short distance travels then suitability for bulk cargo in case of road transport it is economical but in small quantities in case of rail transport it is economical it is suitable in case of heavy and bulk cargo for water transport it is highly suitable for bulk cargo in case of air transport limited suitability is there due to weight and space constraint now let's talk about suitability for passenger transport for road it is yes widely used for passenger travel in case of rail commonly used for passenger travel in case of water transport yes it is common for both short and long distance passenger travels in case of air transport it is widely used for passenger travel especially for long distance international journeys now let's talk about accessibility in remote areas in case of road transport it is highly accessible even in the remotest of the areas then in case of rail transport it has limited accessibility in remote areas without any rail network then for water transport it has limited accessibility in remote inland areas without waterways in case of air transport it has limited accessibility in very remote areas without airport so that was all for the video we saw comparison in between road rail water transport and air transport based on various parameters i will see you in next one till then take care bye bye